Happy po sa ating lahat! Yes! Happy in a room! Woo! Sabihin nga po natin sa ating mga katabi, Happy in a room! Happy in a room! Happy last day of the month! And happy last Thursday of the month! Yes! May we all come before His presence tonight with thanksgiving, with singing, with praises, for He deserves all of this. Do we believe that? Amen! Make our hearts joyful sa gabing ito because we are alive today to give Him praise and to worship our God who is alive. Amen. Hallelujah! Everybody clap your hands! I'm alive because Jesus gave me life. He opened
Father, for the grace. We thank you, Father, for the love that you gave. And thank you, Father, for the joy that you gave, Father. Oh, we offer you these praises. We offer you this worship, Father. Search our heart, Lord God, and be at the center of this place. As we sing this song, Father, hear your people. Hear the heart of your people, Lord.
touch it. Oh, Say it to you, Lord. You that be He be at the center of your life. You Remember His goodness. He's the King of Kings. He's the one who made you. Jesus he never leave you. He never forsake you. Remember the Lord your God. You. Remember the Lord who became your father. Remember the Lord who became your friend. And declare He. Jesus, He is the King of Kings and He is the light of in this church. He becomes better from my heart to the heaven. Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heaven. Jesus.
for calling us to enter, to enter in your inner room, Panginoon, to meet with you, O oh God. Lord, let your presence be in this place, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for every breath, Panginoon, that we take, for every life, O oh God, that is in this place today, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you for the very presence, O oh God, for your presence in our daily lives, Panginoon, Lord God. We glorify you today, O oh God. We glorify you in this church, O oh God, and we welcome you. We welcome you, O oh God, sa buhay ng bawat isa na narito, oh God, who is willing, who is excited to commune with you, Panginoon, who is excited, O oh God, to meet you today, O oh God. Let every soul, let every life that is in this church today feel your presence, Panginoon. Let us feel your very presence today, Panginoon. Let your Holy Spirit, Panginoon, fill us, Lord God. Salamat sa inyong presensya. Salamat sa inyong pagpapala. This we ask in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isang so, pagpala ng po sa ating lahat. Praise, praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we, are we having rest today? Amen. Hallelujah. Sinang pagod? Hallelujah. We are, yes, we are all pagod, but we praise God for, we are here because in the presence of God, we can rest. Amen. Welcome, welcome po sa lahat at maging sa ating online uh, brothers and sisters who are joining us tonight. Isang pagpalang gabi. Ayan, and this is a busy season, busy week for all of us. But we praise God because God have been, uh, has been teaching us how to rest. God has been telling us to, to rest and to be effortless in resting. At yun nga po, no, uh, we have been reminded last Sunday that to rest pala, you need to make an effort. Sabi na, ate, Effortless ka, pero bakit make an effort? But our word last week, last, we have uh, been told that make an effort to enter into that rest of God. And as we see in the Hebrews, it is an act of obedience. Yung pag-rest po, yung pag-enter into the rest of God is when we obey the Lord. Is when we, when we walk in the, in the way of God. And so tonight, I just want to bring you in the book of Proverbs chapter 3. Ayan. Kasi I believe many of us also questions, Ate, why should I, how to make an effort to enter into that rest? What effort should I make? What effort should I do? Ano ba yung dapat natin gawin? Ayan, so, and I believe being at rest, I mean entering into that rest, means that we are at peace. Like kahit ano yung nangyayari, parang ang gulo ng paligid mo, ang dami mong problems, man, ang dami mong struggles, but there is peace in your heart. And how can we achieve that? I believe we can only rest if we are at peace despite of these struggles that we have. Kasi hindi naman po mawawala yung mga problema natin. Hindi naman mawawala yung mga, alam mo yun, yung mga isipin natin, yung mga worries natin, at times yung mga uh, pressures na meron, yung mga burdens na meron tayo. But I believe we can be at peace even in the midst of that. And so tonight, I just uh, want to share with you in a, uh, this book in Proverbs 3, and I just titled this, To walk, walk Rightly with God. To Walk Rightly with God. Because this is where, we, this is the effort we would do to enter into that rest of God. Because we need to make an effort kasi that is when we can really enter into, the, uh, into that rest. But how do we make an effort? So, Point one, so walk rightly with God by valuing His Word. In verse, uh, book of Proverbs 3, chapter 1, sabi, verse 1, I mean, sabi po dito, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, 
for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Who wants a long life? Amen. Of course, we wanted a long life. Sometimes, may mga nagsabi nga sa atin, ate, 30 na ako, 26 na ako, pero wala pa rin, para ang haba na, alam mo yun, ang dami, wala pang nangyayari sa buhay natin. But then, ang totoo ba talaga, 30 na ako o 30 pa lang ako? Alam mo yun, hindi natin alam kung ano yung long life sa, harap, sa, sa mata ng Panginoon. But in us, we have our own measurement of how long life is. But when we li- even when we live a life, sa atin pong perspective na short lang siya, but we walk it rightly with God, I believe it is a long life in the eyes of God because we have been walking rightly in the presence of God. But even if we say, I will live up to 70 or 80 or 90, but how do we live our life? God, but here, God is giving us this, uh, kung sa ano pa, secret, kung paano to have this long life. Say po dito, when we keep, when we do not forget His teaching and keep the commands of God in our heart, it will prolong our life many years. And not just that, hindi lang po buhay na basta mahabang buhay, but a life that has peace and prosperity. Very important. I believe marami siguro sa atin ang naghahangad na sana humaba pa yung mabang buhay natin with our parents. Also, we pray, Lord, may, we give, may you give them long life pa. But what does it mean to have a long life when, when there is no peace and prosperity? Anong gagawin doon sa long life kung wala din naman, di ba, kung, kung restless din naman yung long life na meron ka? Long suffering lang pala siya. Hindi siya long life. Long suffering. So dito po, sinabi sa, sa Proverbs that God will pr- prolong our, your life many years, but with peace and prosperity. This is something that we should desire. Lord, we pr- yes, we pray for a long life, but with peace, with that rest na meron tayo, with, the, uh, the, with being rest, uh, effortless, or entering into the rest of God. So we can do that if we do not forget the teaching of God, if we keep the commands in our heart. Bakit sinabi po dito na keep my commands in your heart? Because it is in the heart that first, uh, stumble, it is in the first thing that abang drawn away aw- from God is, is, is in our heart. Kasi nga po, our heart is deceitful. That's why the Bible says, this word of God, this teaching of God, we should keep it with our heart, in our heart. Hindi lang po sa may natin, alam natin siya, but in our heart. Just like how you know a person. Sometimes, we know a person by by name or by, in our mind only. So, you know, uh, alam ko, kilala ko si Jeff. Siyempre, I knew him by by mind. <laughs> Kasi kilala ko yung name niya. But I didn't know him by heart. This is like knowing God by heart. When we knew God by heart, hindi po ganun kadali yung, hindi, parang more of ano siya, uh, mental, hindi lang siya mental exercise, not, not just memorization, but knowing the heart of God. So the same thing, this is the, uh, because when we know the heart of God, we can obey, we know how to obey Him. And sabi nga doon sa ating chapter last week, it is disobedience that uh, hinder the Israelites entering into that rest. And so when we know the heart, when we know the heart of God, by heart, we can obey Him. We can know Him. We can know the heart of God and we are able to obey Him. And so there is the promise that it will prolong our life many years with peace and prosperity. Yun po yung desire natin, hindi lang basta long life. Long life with peace and prosperity. Kasi ano nga ba naman yung mahabang buhay, di ba? Kung long suffering lang din naman, yung may experience natin. So we desire of that and so in our heart, Lord, anong effort yung gagawin ko? So do not forget the teaching of God to keep it in our heart. Not just by listening every Sunday, but we make an effort also to have our devotion with God. To communicate and to relate sa ating Panginoon. So it is an effort kasi you have to set time. Oh, this is my devotion with God. I need to pray. I need to communicate with the Lord. We have to make a conscious effort. And that through that, sabi nga dito, it will give us peace. It will give us prosperity. And also, many of us, yung reason why we are not at peace or sometimes we are restless because we are trying to win favor, of course, of men. And we are like that. We are really people pleaser people. <laughs> people pleaser, ayan. So this is what, what should I do to win the, the favor of the people around me? But sabi po dito ng verse 3, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bring, bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. So we live in love and faithfulness. Love and trust. Pa and then pa rin na ulit ulit ang sabihin, yung love, yung pagmamahal. When we see the good in men, when we love people, when we have that heart, that how God loves us, the same love we can share to others, 
we can we can win the favor of God. Win a favor and a good name in sight of God and man. Yung pagpapakahirapan para magkaroon ng magandang pangalan, magpabango yung pangalan natin, magkaroon ng this is me, this I want to be like this, I want to be known as someone like this. The secret is just to live in faithfulness and love. To not let love and faithfulness leave you. When we say love, hindi po ma- mawawala sa atin. Of course, how we deal with people, it is, ang papahirap naman kasi na, ang hirap naman Lord na palaging may pagmamahal yung pag sa iba. But this is God saying us that when we do this, we will win favor and a good name in the sight of, not just of God, but of men around us. Of course, this is us trying to please men, but eto pala, may pwede pa tayong gawin how to win that favor, not just of God, but even of man. And so, second thing, walk rightly with God by, by truly trusting Him. We have always been saying this, we trust the Lord with all our heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your states path. So I just want to focus on this verse 6 na, in all our ways, submit to Him. Of course, we know we have to We need to um, trust God, not partly, not 50%, 90%, but 100%. But in this, in verse 6, it says, In all your ways, submit to Him. And when we say, submit to Him or acknowledge God, sa mga ginagawa pa natin, do we invite God in what we do? Like, inviting the presence of God in the things that we do. So when we work, nung una po, parang sabi ko, actually before, I was doing this, but nawala na siya. <laughs> like, when, when I enter the office, I really pray the Lord, I bless my company, sana maging smooth ang lagot. I pray for my boss, I pray for my office mates. Then it's just, I really uh, experience that the, the day is really good. I like inviting God, in your, the presence of the Lord in whatever we do, in the office, and whatever, going out, whatever we do. So I pause dito, in all our ways, when we, uh, when we submit to Him, God will make our path straight. So the things will never go wrong. So even though may mangyaring, Uh, sa kunaman dyan, may mangyaring trouble dun sa company or dun sa family nyo, when we have submitted, when we have invited God's presence in our lives, God will make a way for us because He said He will make your path straight. So He will make a way for us for whatever na crook lane or way man na meron tayo, as we have submitted and invited God's presence with us, He will make our paths straight. So it is an effort to invite the presence of God in everything we do, to submit When we say we submit to Him in all the ways that we do, we invite His presence to be with us. We call upon Him in everything that we do. And also, uh, next is to walk rightly with God in regard to our possessions. So in verse 9, sabi po dito, Honor the Lord your, with your wealth, with the first, first fruits of all your crops, Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. This is something that really makes us restless. <laughs> Lord, I lack a lot of things. Ang daming kulang, parang hindi ko kayang i-provide lahat, wala akong mapagkunan. But here, here is God saying your barns will be filled to overflowing, your vats will brim over with new wine. When we first honor God with our wealth. Kasi nga, it's something that believing, having this faith that God is the source of unlimited resources. So, walang limit kay Lord. Wala, hindi limited ang resources niya. Yung opportunity sa kanya, unlimited. So, when, when, we, when we learn to honor God with our wealth, with also the things that God has blessed us with, this is the blessing, this is the promise of blessing that then your parts will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. There will be something new. Kasi nga po ang sisidlan, kung may punong sisidlan at hindi mo po binabawasan yun, wala, ka namang, wala namang ilalagay ulit na bago sa'yo. So, we have to you know, you to, to give. We have to, to learn to have that heart of giving so that it will be filled with something new always. So kung wala pong nababawasan dun sa sisidla natin, so wala naman ding pagsisidla na. Kasi andun na yun, na hinuhold mo siya. So it says, uh, to, to honor God with our wealth and with the first fruits of all your crops. I'm really um, blessed to see kasi ang dami sa atin. Parang it's been, I've been seeing really a lot have been doing this first fruit of all your crops. When I saw there is someone uh, putting up a business and then they, they write in their offering envelope, first ganito, first income, first ganyan. So I was, I was really blessed to see na, ah, ang galing naman, they are really, they are really uh, honoring God with this first fruit crops. That because this is it, it, is, it is said also in the Bible na there is a promise, there is a promise of abundance as we honor God with our wealth. So we walk rightly with God, 
with valuing His Word, never forgetting His Word, by truly trusting Him, inviting Him, her, His presence in our lives, and honoring Him in with regards to our possession. So whatever possession that might be, it may be of course wealth, anything resources that we have, we learn to honor God. And this is an effort. Hindi po madali para sa lahat magawin ito. That's why it's an effort to make. To honor God even with our wealth. Kasi hindi, hindi, hindi madali na, sabi nga before, di ba, yung 1,000 na dali lang ibigay eh. Pero pag 10,000 na, Lord, ang laki na. Parang bigat na bitawan nung 10,000. You know, the bigger, the greater we have. But I believe the more we should have that faith and that belief that we should honor God with everything, with the wealth or and resources that we have. And next thing, uh, point two, Ayan, so our point two is to receive correction with a right heart. Why sometimes we are restless? Because, of course, when people, kung hindi natin na-please yung iba, and when people say also things that is not based on our expectation standard, we are at, we are at, not at peace. Minsan nakikipag, ano pa nga tayo? Oh, sabi na naman yun, ano hindi natin matanggap minsan. But here in the Bible, in verse 11, Sabi po dito, My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, do not resent his rebuke. Because the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son, as a father the son he delights in. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain un understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies, nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her hand and her left hand, in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. So it talks about how we, are, how, how we receive also discipline and correction. So we walk in God, we receive, as we walk rightly with God, we receive correction with a right heart. Kasi po, restless kapag hindi natin matanggap yung tamang puso, yung correction na binibigay sa atin. Kasi nga, nagmamaktol yung heart natin. Hindi naman ganun dapat, eh, dapat ganito siya. Pero sometimes it is not easy for us to receive corrections with a right heart, to receive discipline na tama yung puso natin. That's why we are restless at times. There is no peace in our heart. But when we learn to love and trust, when we have that love and trust in us, we can receive correction with a right heart because we can see this is a form of love just like the father loves his uh, his son. This is a form of love na binibigay sa atin. So, when we accept it with a right heart, I believe we will be at peace knowing that this correction, this discipline is a form of love upon us. So, ayan. And sabi nga dito, her ways are pleasant ways and all her paths are peace. I just want to emphasize this because in this chapter, many times it is hindi lang siya when Solomon was giving this instruction, and he was really, in the end, he was saying na, you will have peace. Because this is where we are right now. We are uh, trying to be at peace in this restless, to, ha to have to be rest, to, have to enter into that rest without that, uh, despite of what is happening around us. And so lastly, I just want to share in verse 19, and our last point, walk in God's wisdom and receive peace. So in verse 19, by, I mean 21, My son, do not let, let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, the ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Sometimes even at sleep, hindi po ta restless po tayo because we are really thinking of a lot of things. But here, when God's wisdom, God's understanding, when we take hold of that sa ating buhay, sabi po dito, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. Mamawala yung mga fear natin sa pagtulog natin na, alam mo yun, at at rest ka, nakaka-rest ka talaga. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Kailan po yung last tulog natin, masasabi natin na napakasarap ng tulog ko ngayong gabi. Yung walang, alam mo yun, yung walang, ako, honestly, I really struggle a lot lately kasi bumabalik yung, I have this past of, um, like, having nightmares at night. And so, late, this past weeks, is really a struggle for me kasi I feel really restless sa pagtulog kasi bumabalik yung parang someone is choking me somebody is adinadaganan ako so i'm so i'm alone in the the the, the office and so 
I what I all I can do is just to cry and pray, Lord. Because if I don't have anyone with me, so I I have no I, I have no one with me. And then at night, parang ang hirap kung matulog kasi parang andun yung fear na oh pakalumbas na naman yung yung picture na parang may may hasakal sa akin ganito ganyan. So it feels really restless kahit na matutulog na lang pero andun yung restlessness. But here I was really just touched kung sinabi dito na this is ha, uh, when the wisdom and understanding of God when we do not keep it out of our sight and this is when you sleep you will be there is fear you will not be afraid have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked so minsan kan meron din tayong mga fear sa buhay na ah what if may ganitong mangyari may mga alam mo yun kasi everything can happen when we are on the road, when we are everywhere we ask, anything can happen. And sometimes, meron din sa heart natin na, oh, what will happen? But this is the security that God gives us that when we walk right with God, when we take hold of God's wisdom, God's teaching in our heart, we will have no fear of that sudden disaster or, or, or even a ruin overtaking a wickedness. Kasi hindi po walang ruin, hindi po walang wickedness. That is something that is happening, that is visible, that is actual, that is literally happening around us. But yung fear of sudden disaster, it's also very hard. It's also not easy to not, to not have that. Kasi nga, we are just walking around the place everywhere, wherever. But sabi dito, the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. God is our um, protection. God is our security that despite of this, whatever is happening around us, nandun na at peace tayo. Ako po kapag nagbibihay sa daan, I had this anxiety na after Papa passed away, it's really very hard for me to even cross a road. Sobrang fearful ko tumawid ng daan. Hindi ko kayang tumawid ng daan talaga. Hindi ko kayang lumabas. And even until now, from time to time, pag nag-aangkas ako, pag nagmamotor ako, andun yung trauma sa akin na, oh, anything can happen. And especially Papa was I passed away in a motor accident. So, grabe yung, grabe yung pakikipaglaban ko dun sa fear ko sa pagsakay ng motor. <laughs> Ganun. Pero, nag-move it pa rin ako, nag-aangkas pa rin ako. Alam mo yun? Kasi I want, I have, I want to, uh, I have that faith na God is with me. God is my security. God is my protection. Pero still, andun sa heart ko yung fear pa din. But here, I was just really blessed uh, reading this chapter because, alam mo yun, yung mga pinagdadaanan ko, parang, ay, eto siya lahat. Paano mo makaroon ng tamang sleep? Yung ano, mahimbing na pagtulog mo. Yung hindi ka matatakot sa labas pag lumalabas ka, pag nasa, nag-aangkas ka, pag nasa, nasaan ka man. You will have that peace. When you have peace, when you are walking rightly, really with God, when you have that deep connection with God na you know the heart of God, na si, si Lord yung security mo eh. So whatever happened, you are secured in His presence. You are secured in His arms. Whatever the situation is, he, you know that He is at your side. So may it be good or bad, God is with you. So, and dun, yun din po yung, um, I'm very thankful and uh, blessed tonight for, actually, I really received this word first. So, I, I'm so glad to share it with you na we can be at peace in this midst of chaotic world. So, even sa pagtulog natin, even sa paglalakad sa daan, na sometimes fearful man din tayo with, with this dangerous world we are in, we can have that security with God. And so what is the effort we need to make again? We need to walk rightly with God in valuing His Word, in truly trusting Him, in regarding to our possessions, in receiving Christ, in anything that we do, that we can be closer to God. Sabi nga last time ni Kuya Journal, no, one thing na tinitestify niya, yung prayer life. You, that is really the key. Yung paglapit talaga natin sa Panginoon because receiving preachings, teachings is really not enough. We need to make an effort to have personal connection, relationship with the Lord. So whatever it is, however you do it, we make an effort. We make an effort to connect with God and to have a deeper relationship sa Panginoon. Because, di ba sa atin na walang parents, when we are very close with our parents, we feel really secure. Pagkasama natin sila sa daan, how kay kamay natin. Ako, I really felt na uh, when my earthly father was gone, parang nawalan din ako ng eh, protection because we are very, really close. So I believe it is same, same thing we have when we are very close with God. Yung you feel secure pagkasama siya, ay, kasama ko naman si, kasama ko sa Lord ngayong araw. Kasama ko siya ngayon, nag-aangkas ako, saan man ako pupunta, kasama ko siya. So we, we I, uh, it is 
something that we des- we can desire, we need, need to desire of, to have that closer, closest relationship sa Panginoon. That wherever we go, whatever we do, we can be secured. We can say na, I am well, I am good, kasi kasama ko ang Panginoon. And so, even in the years to come, sabi nga dito, God will prolong our life with peace and prosperity. So, abundance, hindi po long life na paghihirap, but long life na may kapayapaan at kasaganaan. This is the promise of the Lord for us. And so, we make that effort to walk rightly with God sa ating buhay. And so, yun na po ang atin. I share and I just want to invite everyone to stand. Hallelujah. And so, today, um, As we respond also to the word, we can we reflect with our life on how we are walking with God in our Christian life. Yesterday, we we know uh, we can say, "I am a Christian. I believe in God. I know God. I know a lot of things." But how we are walking with God? How is our life walking in His ways? How do we really trust Him with uh, what we have in our possessions or when? someone rebuke us, how do we receive correction in our life? Or we can even think or reflect on how is our sleep at night? Can we sleep peacefully? Can we walk peacefully outside or what we were doing or driving or walking or riding anything? Where do we put our security is? Our future? Our career? Where do, do we put our security on these things? And so as we reflect, let's just close our eyes and search our heart. Reflect on our deeds, on our ways with God, on our journey sa Panginoon. Am I just like a Christian, like I'm attending Sundays, I'm doing services, but what am I doing? How I am walking with God in my daily life? Am I inviting God's presence sa buhay ko, sa mga ginagawa ko? I'm just doing my ways and I just go on Sundays and attend service and there I go again, going back to the world. Am I making time for God? I am making effort para mas maging close kami ng Panginoon. Or we are making more effort para mas maging close tayo sa mga makamundong bagay. Tonight, we reflect with our ways with God, with our walk with God. Or am I just walking alone? Is really, do, do I feel that God is with me in my walk, in my journey, in my walk as a Christian? Hallelujah. Today, we, we, ask, we ask God that may it even be revealed unto us with whatever yung walk natin with God, yung relationship natin sa Panginoon. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, tonight, we come. Lord, I pray that may you reveal unto your children, O God, in their very heart. May you open our minds and our hearts, Panginoon, that we can see, we could receive, Lord, that it will reveal to us that this is us in front of you. This is us, Panginoon, with you, O God. This is how our life is, O God. How how, how we walk our life, Lord, right now.
God we have not been walking right with you Panginoon tonight as we search our hearts we enter into the spirit of confession and we just repent before God for the times that we choose to neglect his word even knowing it we choose to not obey even though we knew what the word is, what God's word is. At times na we let our own understanding follow, follow our ways. Tonight, we surrender to God and just ask God to renew us and give us a new heart that would have that desire to connect with God, to keep God in our heart, that we would know Him dearly, we would know Him by heart so we can obey Him, we can walk with Him rightly, we can follow Him, and we can have that wisdom and understanding that comes from God. Father, tonight we come before you, Lord, and Lord, in our lives, Panginoon, maraming pagkakataon, O oh God, na hindi ka namin sinunod. God, even knowing your word, even receiving, even at times, O oh God, that we knew your word, Lord, we disobey. We choose God to do our own ways because we think it will, it, it's what will make us happy. It's what will make us good, feel good and successful. God, tonight, we ask forgiveness, Panginoon, for the times, God, na pinaliwala namin ang iyong mga salita para sa aming patsariling interes. Forgive us, God, for the times, oh God, na we cannot trust you enough. We cannot trust you enough with the things that we have. We cannot trust you enough of how you are leading us. We cannot trust you enough, Lord, that we'll, we, you will direct our paths, oh God. We take the role. We take, we take the The position of you being God sa aming buhay. God, tonight we surrender, Lord. We surrender our heart unto you. Our heart that is full of pride, full of stubbornness, Panginoon. Lord, patawarin mo kami. Patawarin mo kami, God, that we cannot love and trust you enough. We cannot love and trust enough our leaders. We cannot love and trust enough, Panginoon, your ways for us. And at times, Lord, na hindi yung, hindi namin natanggap yung mga bagay na ina-expect namin. Lord, we complain. Forgive us, Lord. We cannot trust your timing. Forgive us, Lord. We cannot really trust you fully, oh God, because we still believe and trust our own ways, Panginoon. Forgive us, Lord, even at times, Panginoon, that we are being corrected. Lord, we rebel, we complain, we are stubborn, Panginoon, and we cannot have that love and trust in us. Forgive us, God. And Lord, tonight we pray that may you cleanse and purify us, Panginoon. Lord, give us a new heart. 
a new heart, God, that is willing, desiring, Panginoon, to walk rightly with you. A heart, God, that nandun yun, Lord, yung eagerness para mas makilala ka, para mas magkaroon ng malalim na relasyon sa iyo, Panginoon. Lord, heart, oh God, na nandun yung excitement, Lord, to know you more. A heart, God, that knows your heart so that in our lives, It will be effortless, Lord, to obey you. It will be effortless, God, to walk in your ways. It will be effortless, Panginoon, to follow your paths, God, na binigay sa amin. Lord, tonight, we surrender all our worries. Yes, maybe some of us have a lot of worries and fears, feel insecure and feel insecure in our life. Because of the many things na maybe wala tayo or hindi pa natin na-achieve or na-acquire. We feel unsecure of our pos- pos- position right now. But God wants to affirm us tonight, My child, I am your security. My child, I am your protection. My child, I am, I am the one who will provide for you. I hold your future. I control everything. I have unlimited resources. I have unlimited opportunities for you. God says, my child, I am with you. I will be at your side. I will keep your foot from being snared. I will take away even that fear within you, says God. And so God, tonight, as He pours Spirit upon us, by faith we receive that promise of God, that promise of abundance, that promise of long life with peace and prosperity, that promise of God giving us good sleep, being having no fear in everything, in wherever we go, and the promise of abundance as we honor God with everything that we have. Father, tonight we surrender to you, Lord, our lives, and Lord, in many things, Panginoon, we desire sa aming buhay. God, we pray that may you give us more faith and more hope in you, Panginoon. Help us, God, to be closer to you. Help us, God, that we can make an effort, Panginoon. We will make an effort, God, to be closer to you, Panginoon. And Lord, tonight we receive that promise of abundance, of long life, of peace, of prosperity. Panginoon na nanggagaling sa iyo, oh God. And Lord, will you help us, Lord, to walk in your ways. Help us, God, to walk rightly, God, in your ways, Panginoon. That we can experience the fullness, Lord, of your goodness, of blessings, and of rest, and of peace, oh God, sa aming buhay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight we can just say our personal prayers sa Panginoon. We take this time. To, to talk to God and to communicate with God. You can say your personal prayers. You can say your personal desires, even the many fears that you have, the, any feeling that you have tonight. You can talk to God. You can talk with God tonight. Hallelujah. your children praise tonight may you hear from heaven every desire of their heart Panginoon may you hear from heaven God every prayer uttered by your children you see their heart you see their desires and Lord you even know Panginoon every weakness that we have Good tonight, we desire that we can be closer to you. In our life, we can walk with you. That we can experience the fullness, Lord, of the riches of your glory.
just say, sing that chorus. Thank you, Jesus. As we give thanks to God. Because truly, it is only by His grace that we can live today. We are here today. We can enjoy everything that God has given us. Thank you, Jesus. enjoy freedom today, oh God. And so God, we offer to you our lives. And may our life, Lord, be a life of worship of God, of God to you, Panginoon. May this life, Lord, be a life, Lord, manifesting, Lord, your name. As we live, Panginoon, a life of praise. We live, oh God, a life of prayer. We live, Lord, a life of worship. And, Lord, and so God, in our lives, God, we pray, we continue to pray, Panginoon, that we can continue, O oh God, to enter into that rest, Lord, na ibinigay mo sa amin, na ibinipare niyo sa amin, Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of rest and peace. Thank you, God, for the promise of abundance and prosperity. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of protection, Lord, and security. To you alone, O oh God, we surrender our lives and we commit to you, Panginoon, everything that we desire of. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, glory, and honor. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. And so we continue po uh, to pray tonight as we have our prayer focus sa gabing ito na ipag-pray din po natin. Hallelujah. So we can, I think we can group into three. We can have a group of three to uh, para mag-pray sa ating mga prayer focus sa gabing ito. So tonight, uh, we, we continuously pray for the nations, all the uh, current events na nangyayari sa sanlibutan sa buong mundo. So we still are praying for our uh, brethren in uh, Gaza and Israel because... Uh, right now, uh, sobra na yung yung ano yung malnutrition. So sobrang uh, sa lala na wala nang makain yung mga Palestinian that is in Gaza is uh, there is a record that childrens are dying not because uh, because of the bombing or the war but malnutrition. So it is so severe to the point na wala na silang makain. So, we continuously pray for our brothers in Israel and Gaza kasi as of now, uh, may ceasefire sila. Uh, Nagre-request ang Gaza for a ceasefire because of the upcoming uh, celebration of Ramadan of our brothers so our Muslim. So, uh, we pray na mag-continue na yung uh, peace talks during this ceasefire na mag-end na yung uh, war and so that uh, our brothers who are in Gaza and Israel will have the peace already kasi uh, 30, higit 30,000 na po ang namamatay in just four months of war. So, 
another is we pray for Australia because of the uh, catastrophic fire that is happening there right now. So uh, we are all aware of the global warning, but right now is 30,000 people are being evacuated from Australia because of this uh, wildfire that is happening. So we pray for the hands of God to come over uh, Australia so that this fire that is happening right now will end. So ayun po ang prayer focus natin for the nations. And for the Philippines, we also pray for the tension between China and the Philippines uh, because of the West Philippine Sea. So there are miscommunications, there are tensions, and the tension is increasing. So may we pray that may the Lord uh, be in the midst of these two countries, and we may also pray for all the miscommunications that na are sa bansa natin at sa bansa ng China. And, and so we um, we pray that the hand of God, and we as uh, as Christians, ay uh, hindi man din po maging contributor or like siding with one another but we believe that it, it is in the hands of God and so we pray that God will take control in these situations during in in the midst of China and Philippines not blaming one another but uh, be be that agent or be that uh, people of also um, bringing peace or initiating na hindi para mag divide mag create ng division but someone who would stand in a gap na mag-pray for, mag for this nation, especially this us, our nation, the Philippines, and also our brother in China. And we believe that we, we are all loved by God. And we pray for God's intervention and control to these two nations. And lastly, when we pray, we'll continue to pray po fa sa ating plan ng paglilipat ng church. So currently, this season, um, Pastor and Brother Joel are going out places for uh, finding our yung paglilipatan po natin so we pray that God may continually lead us lead our leaders our pastor and our full-time workers sa uh, kung saan man sila dalhin ng Panginoon it is God leading them na sa paglilipatan natin and we pray also for protection upon them physically emotionally mentally especially summer is coming and it's very hot i realize sobrang init na pala sa labas kapag lobas ka ng daytime. So we pray also for protection kila Pastora and kila Joel and sa paghahanap ng place. And of course, we pray for, for, for provision sa paglilipat natin sa, as a place wherever God would bring us. We pray for the whole church. Will we have one heart in going to that place where God wanted us to be? So yun po, let us just pray for all these things tonight and call upon God for we know God is able God is sovereign above all. God is in control. And God is the center of everything. God is able to do everything. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We just call upon God and ask God, hallelujah, to help us ask for God's mercy and God's grace to come upon every nation and every uh, what is happening right now around us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord God, we claim that these peace talks, oh God, will 
be this kind of peace over this country that, that this will amend every misunderstanding over this two countries. Panginoon, Lord God, we surrender it unto you. And Lord, we pray for Gaza, God, who is will have been destroyed, oh God. Lord God, your children in Gaza are suffering from malnutrition today, Panginoon. Lord, they have no food or water to drink, oh God. Lord, we know, oh God, that you are the God who provides, oh God. You are the God who gives everything that we need, Panginoon. Lord God, may your provision come over Gaza, Panginoon. Sa bawat isa, agad, na nagugutom ngayon, agad, at Gaza, agad, may your provision, agad, may your line of hope, agad, come over this country, Panginoon, Lord, God, we surrender everybody, we sit down, agad, and Lord, we continuously pray, agad, for Austra- Australia, Panginoon, who is suffering from welfare, Panginoon, today, agad, Lord, God, We cancel every fire that is eating the fire so that is there, Panginoon, Lord. Today we confess, Panginoon, and Lord, we seek for your forgiveness, oh God, for not taking care, oh God, of your creation, Panginoon. This is the reason, oh God, that this welfare is happening, Lord God, we forgive, forgive us, Panginoon, for not taking care of your creation, God. Lord God, Let your reign, oh God, stop this fire that is happening, Panginoon. Lord, may you restore all the places which is destroyed by this fire, Panginoon. Lord, we surrender Australia into you, Panginoon. We surrender this country, oh God. May your restoration come over this place, oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, God, we take this time, Father, to pray, Father, for our country, Philippines and China, God. Tonight, Lord, we declare your Lordship, Father God, in this country, O oh God. We declare, Panginoon, that God stand in the midst of this country, Panginoon. And God, we pray, Father, let your grace and mercy be upon in this country, Panginoon. And Lord God, we pray, Father, that God, let this communication, Panginoon, Tanggalin mo, O Panginoon, ang mga misconception, miscommunication sa bawat bansang ito, Father God. And even, Panginoon, um, yung wrath ng bawat isa, Father God. And Lord, we declare your your grace and mercy sa bawat bansa, sa bawat, sa, sa bawat isa, Panginoon. And God, na ba, Panginoon, Ikaw, Father God, ang pumagit na. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang, ang manguna. At Ikaw, Father God, ang... ang ang magbigay ng peace sa bawat bansa, Panginoon. And God, tonight we declare your peace, oh God. Peace in this country, Panginoon. And God, we even declare, Father God, your Lordship, Panginoon, the Philippines and, and China, oh God. And Lord, we pray, Father God, that Lord, may the Christians rise, Panginoon, to pray for this both countries, Panginoon. And God, may we have the grace and mercy, Panginoon, sa aming pong bansa, Panginoon, to pray, Father God. We have the, may, may we have the heart, Panginoon, to pray, Panginoon, for our country and even the other countries, Father God. And God, tonight, Father God, let your righteousness be ruled in, this, in our country, Panginoon, in the world, Father God. And God, we declare peace, oh God. We cancel all this miscommunication, Panginoon, and let your righteousness be upon us. And let you, Panginoon, the Lordship, Panginoon, Be upon us, Father. And God, tonight, may we have rest, oh God. May we have peace, Panginoon. Among all of this miscommunication, Panginoon, may we have this rest and peace in you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, tonight, oh God, we continue to pray, Panginoon, for our plan, oh God, ng pag-transfer, Lord, of Temple of Worship. God, we believe it is your way, Panginoon. It is your plans for us. And so, God, we pray that may you direct us, Panginoon. May you lead us, God, to the past, Panginoon, that is in your path, O God. Let your will be done, Panginoon. Let your ways be done. Let your uh, 
purpose, Panginoon, be accomplished in wherever place, whatever situation we are in right now, Panginoon. We entrust to you, Lord, ang aming paghahanap, Panginoon, ng bagong place, of our temple of worship. May you lead us and direct us, O oh God, to the place, God, where you want us, Lord, to continue, Lord, to plant trees of life and touch more souls, Panginoon. God, we pray as one church, as one tree of life, Panginoon. May you give us a heart a united heart, Panginoon, with one spirit, Panginoon, to continue the vision, God, that you have given us here in Manila. And for everyone, Panginoon, you have called God to be part of this tree of life, Panginoon. We pray, Panginoon, na patuloy mo kaming bigyan ng puso, Panginoon, eagerness, Panginoon, and the faith, oh God, to follow you, to obey you, Panginoon, wherever you have, uh, wherever you will plant us, Panginoon, God, we pray for continued provision, Panginoon, sa sa lahat ng pangangailangan, Panginoon, ng church, we believe, God, you are the God who is able, able to provide. And so, God, we, could, uh, we, we trust in you. We entrust in you, Panginoon, lahat ng pangangailangan ng church. And we pray, O oh God, for our pastora and Maricar and Brother Joel, Panginoon, for the going into places, O oh God, finding, looking for a place, Panginoon. We pray for pro protection, Panginoon, sa kanilang mga buhay, Panginoon. And we we'll give them extraordinary strength, Panginoon, to continually, Panginoon, uh, find a place, O God, and may you lead them, O God, may you reveal unto them, Lord, the very place that you want, where you want us to be, O God, Lord, we thank you, we thank you, God, for we know you are with us, you are walking with us, we are secured, Lord, for your presence is among us, is with us, Panginoon, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, for the place that you have prepared ahead of us, thank you, O God, for the greater things you are about to do, Panginoon, in the new place, God, where you want to bring us, Panginoon, thank you, Jesus, may you continue, Lord, to raise us up, up as a church, as one tree of life, Panginoon, to continually, God, expand your kingdom, Panginoon, and be used, O God, as vessels, Panginoon, para mas maraming tao pa, Panginoon, ang makakilala sa iyo, Panginoon, so that more souls will know you and bring unto you, Panginoon, to experience a life, Panginoon, with under your grace and love, Panginoon, and mercy, Lord. We thank you, we thank you. We entrust you all these things, so God. And God, I pray tonight, Panginoon, for everyone who are with us, even, Lord, sa mga tahanan, Panginoon, na kasama namin sa gabing ito, we just release, Lord God, your spirit to be upon every one of us. Lord, may your presence, Lord, continue, Lord, to walk, Panginoon, with us, among us, Panginoon, wherever we ask. May you dwell among us, Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. We just release peace, rest upon everyone, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, glory, and honor. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Thank you po. Thank you everyone. Hallelujah. Praise God for tonight. And we continue to invite you to join us every Thursday po sa ating inner room. And you can come on site. Especially next week is our first Thursday of the month. We invite you to come uh, here po sa church to join us in prayer and worship. God bless everyone. See you po ulit next week. Have a good night rest.